Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to delete a, a Proximus cluster. Uh, let's take, for instance, you have a cluster, and you created a cluster, and you, you've added nodes to the cluster, and um, you just decide that you want to get rid of the cluster. I'm going to show you how to actually delete the cluster. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. And um, just know whatever I'm, whatever I'm going to show you today, it's also applicable to older versions. Like currently, I run version 5.3.5, just like you can see here. Uh, if you have older version, approximately version 4 or version 3, yeah, the, the, the commands are almost similar. So it's, it's the same thing. And um, you don't have to worry yourself. I'm going to put a description. I'm going to put in the description, you know, the list of commands you need to run. And um, by the way, I actually found this um, solution online um, from one of the, the Proximus wikis. I'm also going to put a link to um, the wiki in, um, in the description. Uh, so now, having said all that, let's just dive straight into how to get rid of this. Now, for this um, video, I created a demo cluster. I created a cluster which I named demo cluster. And now I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. And by the way, I've not really added um, nodes besides no, no, besides the current node on the server that I'm currently logged into. I'm not adding any other nodes. And if you add other nodes, the first thing you want to do is to actually, you know, remove those nodes from um, the cluster. That's the first thing you want to do. But in our case, I only have one node in this cluster, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, so what you want to do first, like I said, um, is to go just go to just click on, on this node this that's a that's a so just click on that then you want to go to shell um the first thing we're going to do the first thing which we have to do is actually to stop uh is actually to stop the um, pv services or pv cluster service that's the first thing you want to do now if you're running version 5 or version 4 and newer uh the command is similar to version three, but uh, yeah, I'll just give you the command. So the command for version four and um, upwards, uh, version four and upward and newer uh, Proximus uh, V and you know, V is um, system CTL. That's that's a command you use. That's that's a command you use. So system CTL space stop space PV dash cluster. You see the return key. That's gonna stop the PV cluster service. Now, having now, 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 once we're done with that, the next thing we want to do is to actually restart, um, restart the service. But this time, we're gonna force the nodes to run in local mode. And um, how do you do that? Uh, it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Uh, the command to run that. Like I said, I'm just going to copy and paste it because I already have it typed out. I don't want to type it. I don't want to type it on live screen. I already have it typed out somewhere on my notepad. So I'm just copying and pasting. So it's PMX CFS space hyphen L. So here the return key. That's going to restart the service and it's going to force it to run in local mode. Now, with our nodes running in local mode, so next thing we want to do, we want to delete all the uh, cluster configuration file. Now there are three of them we're gonna be deleting. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be deleting uh, chorusync.com.conf, and we're gonna be deleting cluster.conf. Yeah, cluster dot cluster dot configuration file. So the, the the cluster configuration file and the chorusync configuration file, we're gonna be deleting both of them. And um, to do that is uh, pretty pretty easy. Again, I'm going to put all the commands in the um, description so you can just copy and paste. But to do that, we just simply type the command rm space dash f. Now, this is the location where we have the configuration file. This is the location where we have the configuration file for the cluster. This is the location where we have the configuration file for cursing. Just type that in and just hit the return key. That's going to, that's going to delete. That's going to delete that. And um, yeah, so we're going to type the next command. Just look in the description for the command. I'm just gonna paste that, and um, yeah, done. And the last, the last key we're gonna be deleting is the chorus sync authentication key. Um, I, I believe, I believe that key is generated when, when you, when you actually add um, 
other nodes to your clusters. But in our case, we don't have we 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 don't have any other node, just a local one. So, but anyway, I'm just, I'm gonna run the command, but it's it's probably it's probably it's probably it's probably gonna you know, flag an error. Yes, yeah, like I said, it's not probably gonna flag an error because no such file directory exists. Because uh, like I like I said before, I only have the one node. Uh, I didn't add I didn't add a second node, just the one node. So, I believe I believe the chorusing authentication key is created. I believe it's created when you add. Other nodes, and that's the key that all the other nodes are going to use to connect to your cluster. But uh, in our case, uh, like I said, I only have the one cluster. But I have to, I'm going to validate, I'm going to verify that though. But I believe this key is created when you add additional nodes to your cluster. So I haven't, I haven't deleted all these files. The next thing we're going to do again is to stop the cluster service. We're going to, we're going to stop that. Yeah, we're going to stop the cluster file, file system again. And um, like I said earlier, uh, for I'm running version five, for version four and upwards, the the, the 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 command is the same as we have here. That's the same command. We just we, that's the same command we're going to type. We're going to type that command one more time. And if you're running version three, like I said, it's a, a similar process, but the the difference is just the syntax. For version three, I believe uh, the syntax for that. You know, so instead of system, CT, CTL, it's gonna be it's gonna be service. It's gonna be service PV dash cluster stop. That's for version three. But for version four and newer, it's uh, system CTL space stop space PVE dash cluster. Like I said, it's, it's it's similar command but just different syntax. So I haven't done that. Like I said, we need to stop. We need to stop the service, which we've done, which we yeah, which we've done already. Now, the other thing that which we might need to do is not compulsory. It's what well, it is is optional. Uh, we might have to delete the log file. So the log file, the log the, the log file of the cluster system. We might have to delete that file. Like I said, it's optional. It's not composite, but in my case, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and delete and delete that file. And to do that, again, we we'll just type the command rm, and that is this is the location where the file where that file exists. I just and this is a file this is a file we are deleting, and I'll just hit the return key to delete that file. And uh, we are almost done. And uh, yeah, so at this stage, we 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 are done removing the the the, the cluster. So what we want to do next is to actually we start uh, the PVE services. Now, it, now at this stage, there are two options. You can either restart the service or you can reboot, you can, you, 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 you can, you can reboot, uh, you can reboot the nodes. It's totally up to you. But um, if I don't want to reboot, I just, all I'm just going to do is just restart the service. And to restart the service, there are actually four commands that I need to run. The first command that I have to run Will be to will be to actually it will be to start the PV cluster. So to, the, the command, like I said, is uh, I'm gonna paste in the description. Is systemctl start PV cluster. It's just the opposite of the of the command we use in stopping the PV cluster. Now I start the cluster. Then the next thing I'm gonna start, I'm gonna restart the PV daemon. Yeah, yeah, daemon. I wanna restart that. And just so you know. Once I restart that, I'm, I'm going to be temporarily disconnected from the shell. Uh, just restart the demo. So system CTL restart PV demo. Now it's restarted. You can see here it actually closed the connection. So I'm going to just click out, just click on something and anything and just come back to shell. So yeah, the next command I'm going to run will be to restart the um, PV proxy. Um, so same command, systemctl restart pv proxy, hit the return key. I'm going to be temporarily disconnected from the shell again. I'll uh, just click out, click on something, anything, to bring me back to shell. But just so you know, if, if you're right in front of the server, and you're, if, if, you're, if you're typing this right in front of the server, you should be fine. And the last command I'm going to run is this. And that will be it. If you have any questions, guys, you can just leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I, I'm willing to answer your question. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.